Hello, this is Dino Lopez. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create a Ruby on Rails application with Adobe Flex framework using the RESTful X framework. RESTful X was originally created by the Rubus company now that start with the Rubus for Ruby, eventually evolve and create this RESTful X framework. And basically, this is a project management application built from scratch. Uh, for the scope of this tutorial, we want to follow these 10 steps. So let's get started. The development on this is going to be created in a Red Hat Linux Core 6 machine. My version of Ruby, as you can see, is 1.6. My version of Gems, 1.3.1. And my version of Rails is 2.2.2. Part of the requirements is that I have to have at least Ruby on Rails 2.1 or higher, which I do. I do have a higher version of my SQL. And it's asking for a Flex Software Developer Kit. The Flex Software Developer Kit can be downloaded directly from Adobe Flex. Go to adobe.com. There's going to be a Flex 3.2 Software Developer Kit where you can download. But I found for the scope of this tutorial that the Flex Software Developer Kit requires the Java Developer Kit. So prior to install this, you must go to the Sun Microsystem website, download the Java Developer Kit for your operating system, install it. Once you have installed and set up the appropriate environment variables on your path, you can go back to Adobe Flex, install the Flex Builder, and then successfully you're going to be ending with an MXMLC, which is basically the compiler for Adobe Flex. In this case, it's 3.1.0. So once we have all the requirements in place, our recommendation is to check the in Rubus for Ruby was Ruby Ho, but in this case, I'm not sure if RESTful X is required, just for the gem list grip. I do have install anyway for backwards compatibility. So let's get started. I want to start with basically step number one. I want to create a basically a uh, Rails database SQL, call it Pomodo, just like the tutorial says. Basically, it's going to create a Ruby on Rails application and nothing fancy. We change directory to the new application we just created. Now, RESTful X is currently installed. If you have not done this before, you can do gem install restful x just like shows here otherwise if you have it installed in this case i have installed i don't have to do it at this point now i need to edit a config environment and tell it to use this gem restful x so i want to do vi config and once i edit it at the end i want to add the line let me copy this thing here. Here we go. I just had a config gem use RESTful X. So that step is done. Then we want to use the framework script generate rx config. And it's going to take some time. It's going to fetch the framework binary from GitHub, which is this step we local and be faster, but we have to wait. While with this is running, the other step is going to be configure the model jaml. Apparently, it's done. Yes, it download everything. I'll say override everything. It's it's completed. Download the RESTful X 1.2.1 SWC and complete the job. The step number six is going to be create a new database model jaml, jaml file which I'm going to copy here I'm going to explain this in a minute DV model jaml slightly different from the regular Ruby on Rails application this file we concentrate a project which is the name of a, one of the tables of projects is has a strings, names, notes, started, end date, complete date, belongs to some relations that are clear right here. It's interesting how this reminds me the way that 
the Cisco IOS concentrating in one single text file all the logic of the router configuration. This seems like in one file it's going to have all the dependencies, everything, and beautifully can create all the applications. This is very, very ingenious way, I think. Location, uh, dep more dependencies, belongs to, has many, and some, some fields. The tasks, notes, users. This file is definitely not the file that you see in your regular Rails application. It's some, some improvement, I think, from the framework. But once we have the database model, we need to generate a scaffold for this particular application. It's going to be using this previous DB model file. It's going to link all together for the Flex applications. I want to say yes, replace everything. And Later, there's another step here to configure the database YAML. This is familiar from the um, regular application. Basically, set up the user and password for your application. I'm I'm gonna copy a file that I have previously with my user and password, so I don't expose those user and passwords here in the screencast. But it's basically changing the username and password of the database, and I wanna do the equivalent of what well, would be rake db migrate in a Rails application, which is rake db refresh. Using those settings of the application, it will, it will actually create those tables and create everything beautifully. Apparently, it doesn't know for model development. Let me do rake flex build. This step is actually using the MXML, and it's compiling the application, it's building everything together, based on those tables, based on everything linked together, and it's going to end with the actual application, the Pomodo SWF, and if it's ready to go, pretty much we can just launch the web server. Let me just copy this. and start the web server and just like a regular real application it's using the web brick on port 3000 I'm going to my web browser and go to the IP address of this machine on port 3000 and voila there's the application I can add a new user it's gonna be Dinos Dino And then let me save it. There he is. New user. Root. Localhost. Save user. Then go to locations. Assign for user Dinos. On the user house. Dinos. Dinos in the house. Yeah, buddy. And later I can use location. I said for user root. New home is gonna be Red Hat. Root in Fedora Red Hat. There is. I can go to tasks. I can assign for a different project. Let me create a project first. The project is gonna be clean house. This reminds me of Warcraft. Great work, work, work. I can put a start date. Everything beautiful from Flex. And it's going to be assigned to, to me. Save the project. And the task for the project clean the house, location house, is going to be assigned to user Dinos. Um, the framework looks really nice. I can put notes for Dinos. Don't forget to upload to YouTube. And there he is. 
I can create a new to a new, a new node for root. And jump update. Very nice, very easy. I'd like to see a little bit more of development of this framework. It's really interesting. I like to see tabs probably here. So instead of have a little regions just switching, you have control that you can create and flex these little tabs. Maybe some skin themes, put a little background, have more control of those things. But the framework is definitely useful. It's definitely, definitely working really good. All the logs from the web server. Um, I think has a lot, a lot of potential. And hopefully you enjoyed. Um, thank you. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions regarding this, feel free to shoot me an email or uh, shoot an email to the developers. I'll be more than happy to help you out with any questions or whatever I can, I can do to help you out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.